My name is Matt, this is Hidden Light, and this is Ryan. I'm Ryan. Ryan's here to make some prints. Um, we have a mutual friend in Tyler Shields. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks, buddy. And Ryan has decided to make his first foray into platinum printing. True. It's very exciting. Um, so today is going to be kind of the process as we work through the files, the negatives, everything else we need to get these prints squared away. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. <laughs> Taylor is scanning negatives today so that we can get your beautiful negatives out to you beautiful people. And so we have a little bit of time this morning to work on negatives and get everything squared away, work on our files, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, how did you decide you wanted these images in platinum? Was there like a process to that? Uh, the specific images that I'm printing now? Mm -hmm. um, well, since these were my first uh, platinum prints, I wanted to choose two images that were significant to me mm -hmm. and that were going along with uh, projects that I've been wanting to work on. Mm -hmm. And I've been working on giving away some of the cameras I've used the most with, an, with a print of an image I made using that camera. Sweet. Obviously, that project can only go so far until I run out of the cameras. I guess you have to buy more cameras. <laughs> and for the other one, um, it's a new to my friend Lauren that was a really definitive shoot that helped shape how I saw my style and how I saw photography. Mm -hmm. And she's an amazing poet and makes physical poetry, you know, has some of the most beautiful handwriting I've ever seen mm -hmm. and produces these physical works of poetry. So I thought for a special physical product for me, I could pair it with one of her poems and we could frame them and awesome. sell it together. Sweet. So working yeah. on some serious pictures today and not your average snapshots. Yeah, two, two <laughs> that definitely mean a lot to me. I love that. Well, let's go. Hopefully this process will do them justice and we'll be able to... I'm sure it will. I'm so happen. excited to be here. It's going to be great. We're going to cut some paper and work on some files, which is maybe not as interesting for you to watch. Uh, and then we'll get some negatives squared away. So, uh, you know, just a B-roll montage. Awesome. <laughs> I'd like it's just a skosh. Okay. So that we focus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't at me, YouTube, okay? Don't at me. We're doing this right. It was kind of like a little ad hoc. She has like a mark on like her left breast up here. I really want to make sure not to take that out. Yeah. I'm, she I'm not, I'm, I'm leaving loved, almost yeah, everything. Anything that looks like freckles and stuff. Oh, yeah. 50 inch roll. Nice. And they're now selling that. Incredible. Uh, yeah. section because <laughs> I don't need to use all the bulbs at all the land Whoa. so we'll just use the back section over here start with this see how it goes uh, one, two, three, so you do the salt then the platinum then the lime it's uh, yeah exactly <laughs> perfect You know what? That's at least going to be a good proof. Okay, amazing. We're going to up the chemistry because that was not enough. That was like professional level chemistry and I'm, I'm not aiming for that today. We'll see about this coat. I'm like 70% oh, on that coat. That's exactly what we want to see. So all the really dark areas of the image should be nice and dark. And the rest of the image is kind of like, almost. So, let's see if we can develop this. Amazing. Check the tray, this tree is dry. About a minute to develop all the way. Mm -hmm. 
the developer is kind of infinitely reusable. So oh, gonna, I didn't know that. I'm going to let this drain for a bit. Oh, yeah. That yeah, turned out really well. Beautiful. We'll still have a warm tone like this, but it won't be quite so yellow. I mean, wow. Like, yes, it's a beautiful image, but there's always something behind it. And I find that that's, it's not only the thing that sells the picture, but it helps me relate to it. Because I project one thing onto this and it's very different. So yeah. tell, tell me about it. Um, yeah, since this is my first platinum print ever, yeah, ever, I don't even think I did one in college. I wanted to choose an image of real personal significance to me. Um, this is my friend Rachel's hands in Iceland on a five week road trip we did together to get away from like the photo shoot dynamic to just be able to go and make stuff when it happened. And um, obviously I, I finished the image, I liked it. When I got the negative back, you know, I shared it, I printed it. Um, I had quite a few re requests of inkjet prints for it. Um, actually an above average request, um, which, you know, I, I was happy about, I loved the image, but once it hit a certain point, um, I started asking people, like, I love that you want this, I'm actually getting quite a few requests for this, could you tell me why you want it? Yeah. And the responses came back like 50-50 between, it makes me feel so hopeful, like someone submerged mm. and they're finally coming out mm. to the other side of... I feel like she's drowning. I feel like she's sinking. I feel like this is the last moments above mm -hmm. water before someone disappeared. Wow. And I loved that because for me, for my art to be successful for myself, it has to have more, more than one emotion because anything that just makes me feel one thing just feels like an advertisement. Hmm. Like, don't you wish you were me? Don't you wish you were them? Don't you wish you were here? Don't you wish you had made something this beautiful? <laughs> and I'm so sensitive to how much I hate advertisement that I love it when my work can have something, you know, you always want it to be beautiful, but if it gets contrasted with, but I also feel this when I look at it, at it, it makes it such a success for me. And to have people obviously having contrasting reactions to the point of saying, I think the exact opposite thing is happening in this image. Mm -hmm. It really, you know, I'm not saying it's the best picture ever, but it was like a moment where that solidified, like, I love it when this happens. Right? Awesome. This means so much to me. And it's a person that I love on a trip that meant a lot to me. So yeah, I thought this would be a fitting image for my first platinum memory. And it's not like it's hitting you over the head with it. Like it's, it's both serene and a little spooky. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> which, exactly, which you wouldn't maybe put together. Right, which works really well. And it's like dramatic and subtle. Mm -hmm. It's it, Even the process is capturing those like contrasting things that mean a lot to me. Absolutely. I think it's stunning, man. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, that's what we're here for. That looks great. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, brush stroke borders means I gotta pull off this black edge. I'll let that mix, and I gotta go re-wet this. And it used to be like when you searched it, it brought up my gallery show, and now it just brings up Lamb of God music videos and covers. And They're my favorite band right now, for sure. Oh, really? Yeah, I listen to them almost exclusively. Oh, I know. idea. Randy's a pretty good friend of mine. That's awesome. We should hang out. We should bring him here. We, we should bring him we here. We would love this. Get his ass out of here. Okay, five minutes. Boosh. So you can actually see a reasonable amount of detail in here. Yeah, so the that's negative so contains the detail. That's so interesting. Look at the blacks come in. Look at her freckles just like up here. I don't know why I thought this, but I thought the process was going to be way more washed out. It can be. But th no, this is better for me. That is stunning. Wow. Um, I wanted to do this image of my friend Lauren um, because the this shoot and the first series we made together was so formative for me in like finding my photographic style. 
I was trying to do just like fashion stuff, you know, like book a hair and makeup artist and find a model. I did that for years before I finally admitted, like, I don't like this at all. Like, I just want to work with artists and not do a photo shoot, but have this block of time together. And she was the first time where I reached out and found an artist that I admire. She's a poet. And I had followed some of her, you know, the images she had made and some of the poetry she was releasing. And I wrote her and said, hey, I'm trying to work in a different way. Do you want to fly somewhere neither of us have ever been, spend eight or nine days together, talk about art, and then make work when it comes up, not because now we're going to go do our photo shoot. Right. And she said, yes, she's going to write out um, a piece of poetry and we're going to frame the platinum and the poetry together and sell it as a one piece and hopefully make more together. That's awesome. Yeah, she's so cool. I wish she was here to see this in person. The start of a new project, the start of a new style of photography for the you. Start of a new life. The start of everything. That's great. I love it. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's good fun. Damn.